What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today, we are going to be with the Blank County Sheriff's Office. And, uh, yes, we got this, um, nice pack. I can't remember exactly who made it. I believe it may be Ripple, or his name is Soul. He's part of Midwest RP. Um, but either way, it's a really beautiful model. I absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, we have a property checkup to get out to. We've done a couple of these in the past. Usually, it ends up being some type of animal or something. So, without further ado as i've stated let's get over to grape seed looks like where we're gonna go and see what's happening all right guys so we're rolling up on scene right now not too 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 far away um so yeah we're just gonna drive around code one make it seem like a normal patrol um if it is a person then we'll get rid of them and uh if it's not a person then well i guess we'll deal with it but they basically call it in suspicious movement uh, right now, it looks like we actually have an actual breaking and entering right here happening. Holy fuck, the fucking lights. All right, man. Let's stop. Let's stop the let's stop the crowbar. Let's stop the crowbar, okay? Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Dispatch people. We have one white male, green, striped sweater. Surrendering at this time. Yep. Okay, buddy. You're all good. You're all good. What are you doing here? What are you doing, man? Oh, nothing. Why? Um, is this your house? Why are you walking around the crowbar? I don't have any answers. Please just don't kill me. Uh, I, I don't plan on doing anything of that sort, sir. Alright, sir. Just drop the crowbar. Thank you very much, sir. I'm inside your house. If this is even your house. Give me the crowbar. Give me the crowbar. Alrighty. What's your name, ma'am? Vincent? Hey, Vincent. Man, you're only 18 years old, man. What's happening, brother? What's happening, brother? What, 18? Yeah, I think 18. Um, so does he live here is a question. So you live in this neighborhood, buddy? No, I live up north. Okay, so where'd you come from? I mean, I'm going to guess you came from the north from hell. There it is. Okay, and where are you headed to? I'm on my way home. Okay. Okay, so maybe he does live here. Do you have any warrants, man? Mm, you should check for yourself. Well, you're very kind. You know that? You're so utmost kind. Um, what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna pull out our little handy dander uh, tablet right here that we have in our side pocket, you know And uh, we're gonna see He said he lives up north Nothing prior. He lives on route 68. So that's actually south I'm unsure anyways, uh, so with him not being his home address. We're gonna go ahead and um Go ahead and escalate this to being uh, arrested because he does not live here so we're gonna kind of call the transport for the suspect. So you're gonna be placed under arrest right now for break and entering. All right, we're gonna go ahead and patch you down right before the transport does get here. All right, all right. Let's see what you got, Mr. Walker. Um, a condom. There it is. All right, he's got some blotter papers. These are often used um, for narcotics. So I don't think I'm feeling this outfit that I'm wearing as well. I don't know. Am I feeling it? Mm, may take off the hat. May take out the hat. I don't know. Either way, we may just stay in it for sakes of it. All right. Well, you see, guys, he is going to be going to jail today uh, for the break and entering. He obviously doesn't live here. And uh, whatever has happened has happened. They'll figure it out in court. And we're going to get back to our vehicle. And I'll see you guys at the next call. All right, I guess. So we just got this special call. Not too far away from us. Uh, looks like the suspect has escaped officers from a 1070 or 1080. And they're now requesting additional units to go over there and help them out. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little quick response over there really quickly. Get over their code three. Uh, looks like those officers are probably searching as well, but at a lower priority. They want us to primarily go in, uh, in the last known, while other units canvass the area. We're pulling up right now, so no need for those fancy transitions made by our editor, who is definitely not underpaid at all. Anyways, pulling up on scene now. We're going to go ahead. I see someone right over there at the very edge of the perimeter that we have set up. Um, unknown. Yep, this is definitely her. She sees us. Alrighty. Dispatch be we have eyes on our subjects. It's gonna be a, a whiskey fox trot wearing a blue whatever the fuck females wear with black pants. Ma'am, stop. Ma'am, stop. Stop. This is embarrassing. Don't make me taste you from the car. I'll taste from the car. I'm gonna taste from the car. 
Oh, man, you're lucky you don't have a brain concussion from that one. All right, stay on the ground, ma'am. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. You're done. Just just give it up, ma'am. Just give it up. This is, this is, yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Oh, don't know. Mm. Yep, you shouldn't have gotten up. Yep, okay, you done. Are you done, ma'am? You move. You Are you done? Yep, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get, sit in the cow poop. Sit in the cow poop. Yeah, there you go. All righty. This best be advised, once a felon is now code four, and we're gonna be 10, 15, and one. Alrighty. Oh, I could have just called an air unit. Why did you run? Makes the situation worse. Jack Jeffries. Um, man, I just didn't want to go back to the slammer. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. This whole new charge will make um, it going back even worse. Damn straight pointy tits. Too late to go back now, though. You're, yeah, you're right. You're right. It is. Uh, it just makes the situation. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and call the, uh, we're gonna make sure we do have indeed that Jack Jeffries, which it looks like we do. Um, and suspended driver's license with an outstanding active warrant. So she's probably trying to skip town on foot for whatever reason. What we're gonna do is go ahead and call the prisoner transport as per always. We're gonna go ahead and pat her down before the prisoner transport does get here. Looks like we got an actual prisoner transport van coming this time, which is really cool. Sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, she has a clown mask. That's interesting. Um, she has some brown powder residue. Looks like she couldn't dish it before she got to us. Uh, we'll hand it over to prisoner transport right here, guys, and then we'll uh, be back up to the next call in just a second. All right, guys, we're just going to do a pursuit happening in the middle of Sydney Shorts right now. It seems as if some other deputies are asking for some backup. We've got multiple units rolling out to go and help them out right now. We're going to go ahead and get ahead of this one. And we're going to go ahead and get a do 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 that started. All right, we got a helicopter in route so we don't lose these people in case they do 70 before we get there or before anything may happen. Looks like we may cut them off right here. All right, here we go. There we go. Dispatch be about. Oh, oh no no no! Dispatch heavy shots fire on four times occupied. Air unit just swung in, hello low. Air unit is getting lit up. Get us back up, get us back up. We have about four times individuals opening fire on us. All right, guys, we just caught in about four different cars. They're gonna be roadblocked up ahead, it looks like. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. My God. It's gonna be a dead end for them here. Dispatch, two down, two down, the foot bell in dispatch. Shots fired as a stand up. Be advised, dispatch, we got all four subjects down, all four down. No casualties, it looks like. Dispatch, go ahead and roll uh, some medical out here. Ambulance. Assistance required. Oh. Well, that's the fastest EMS response time. Wait a second. What? I swore I installed a 16 Explorer. Anyways. All right, guys. So as you see, this call they're gonna get wrapped up. But right now we just got a priority call. Officers in distress right near us. Since this scene's over with and all these units are here, they're gonna stay here and secure the scene. We're gonna round up to the code nine. Uh, sorry, not code nine. Not ten ninety nine call. And we'll be right over there to help them out. We can't leave them be like there. Oh my God, he just got shotgun. This badge, officers down, officers down. This badge, show us code four, we believe. Stand by for vehicle clear. Stand by for vehicle clear. 
All right, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Okay, this guy's already in a fetal position. And shotgun secure, rifle secure, or actually two shotguns secure. All right, dispatch me if I was supposed to take down. Go ahead and roll medics out to this scene now as well. Uh, if you want to roll from the other scene, you can. We got something rushing us. What's rushing us? Shots fired again. Don't roll in medics yet. All right, now you can roll in medics. <laughs> And fuck you! Yeah, I I feel the same way. I don't know why the Los Angeles County Police were up here, but sure. By the way, guys, you guys are actually no. Last episode, you guys saw the new medics. I'm pretty sure. If not, there's a new medical that we added in. This also, I'm thing. Our first pack, our first episode with these gun sounds. I could be wrong. My arm got shot the hell up. Dispatch, go ahead and roll me a medic out here for myself as well, please. My arm is uh, non-existent. Um, looks like we got... So I'm gonna guess that the medics mimic after my BCSO car. Or is that a 20 Explorer? What car is that? Honestly, guys, I don't know where these medic cars come from. I don't know what pack this is. That... You know what? I think it's my FBI packs, actually. Either way, um, looks like as if we got medics here to... I'm hoping the, they get... They should be healing me up. All right, yeah, so they heal up the different officers. No? Okay. Not me? Cool. All right. Anyways, guys, as you see, Stafford's on scene. Oh, well, that's interesting. Honestly, guys, I haven't looked at these uh, this car much, so let's go ahead and... Ooh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <gasps> Alright, so it appears as if I have done something wrong with this car. As you see, something, some of the light bars don't work. There's like a bunch of window tint or something. I gotta fix that. Uh, so we probably won't use this vehicle right now until I can find out the fix for that. I don't know if I saw... Oh, I had a partner still as well. I'm sorry. All right, guys. Well, as you see, never steal a uh, deputy's Explorer. We're going to get out of here, guys. Um, and we'll see you guys on the next call. All right, guys. Uh, so right now we have some concerned uh, hikers. Uh they if i can learn how to english really quickly they saw a person with a weapon walking around the national park uh which is you know if it's a hunter then they, they shouldn't be hunting in there um there's a few different uh violations um that we may have to call parks and wildlife out for um they know more about those laws than i do but we're gonna go ahead and just ride out there really quickly do a little code 2 response um it looks as if it's an elderly gentleman possibly Possibly under the influence with the way he's staggering around, but that is definitely a assault rifle. Um, this patch, go ahead and roll me another code 2 unit, just in case. Hey, buddy! Help me go! Copy dispatch. Dispatch 1070 with one male. He's uh, refusing to surrender at this time. Ooh, not that what I want to do. Okay, okay. Dispatch, uh, be advised that 1070 is armed with 60 assault rifle running through the Grand Sonora National Park running northbound. I just wanted to talk with him. He wasn't, I just wanted to tell him like, hey man, you can't really have the weapon out here. Go back to your car. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go less lethal at this point um, and try to subdue him this way. I hear a train coming, so that's not good. We we're going to get a couple of more patrol units. Uh, it's not 1099, but sure. Maybe he's going to go sit down on this couch. Maybe he's going to go sit down on this couch. No, he's not. Of course not. Bitch, if you don't get the black back here before my... Ooh. There we go. All right, that was your only warning, man. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Gun. Drop it. Drop it. You're... I can't understand. I don't know what my partners are going to do next, but drop it. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Looks like the county or the county's county's units. I uh, got the uh, rifle picked up. One times 10, 15 at this time. Why is... Why are there detectives out here? What? Anyways. Um, we're going to go ahead and request the patch head to dispatch. Uh, Colin Dixon. Mr. Dixon, you don't look old. You look homeless. You got a suspended license. I'm not worried about that. 
Alrighty. Um, we're gonna go ahead and. What are you? Are, have you been drinking, man? Do you smell alcohol? Me? Okay. What about drugs? No drugs make you sick. So if I search you down right now, you're not. I don't even care if I'm patting you down the middle of the road. I'm gonna pat you down the middle of the road because I don't want if you're lying to me. I know you. I know you're under the. You have something. I know you do. I feel it on you. Oh, yeah, the pocket knife. Yeah, that's 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 exactly what I meant, sir, ma'am. Don't you dare hit me. I don't know why you ran from me, man. I don't know why you ran from me, honestly. But you know what? I hope you learn for whenever you do get out, because you're only going to jail for um the that infraction right there. So it's pretty unfortunate that you got to go to jail for just that. But it is what it is. You made your decision. All right, prisoner transport's here. I'm gonna run away from this. Go get my car back, guys. I'm way back. Uh, code four ten eight. All right, guys. Uh, right now we're getting dispatched out to a broken down vehicle, and not the most exciting of calls, definitely not. But you know, I think our guys went through his fair share of excitement today. He's probably gonna enjoy our little uh, broken down vehicle, bitch ass, Ooh, bitch ass. All right, anyways, um, so part of my French. So we're gonna go ahead and get a code two response over here to the uh, broken down vehicle. I don't know if it's on the highway still, if it's on the side of the highway. Don't know why they're rounding me out. Should be just highway patrol. Uh, cars still on the highway. So we're gonna go ahead and just put on our hazards, let people know like, hey, looks like a person's still in the car as well, so. Just to let people know, um, we're gonna go ahead and get the road slowed down as well around this area, just so uh, we don't get hit and killed. Hey, buddy, what's going on, man? Having some car troubles here, buddy. My car just stopped in the road, no warning, just died, man. That must, it's really unfortunate, but my friend. Okay, that's probably like your very dangerous side. We have to move you. Um, I know, I have no idea what's wrong with that. Try restarting engine. Alrighty, so apparently I'm gonna put my magic out on it. I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this thing, but yeah. So, um, you know what? I took a little bit of mechanics back in high school. I, I was something of a football player. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. Definitely that. Yes. Definitely the fluctuator in the, uh, mm-hmm. Yep. Well, looks like I, you know, didn't take enough engineering. You stop the pad to call a tow truck. Um, alrighty. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press the vehicle check really quickly. Make sure it's all good to go as well. Let them know that it is. Vehicle license plate. Kate Tom, Jefferson. Ocean, That's eight, interesting. Two, Target is ten four. What's your name, buddy? Jeffrey Ferner. I mean, I guess it's not our knowledge. Need to know about who owns the vehicle. It's not reporting stolen or anything, so really I'm not going to do much about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and call tow service for this piece of junk. We're going to get a large flatbread truck. Oh, wait. No, no. I want to tow this. I want to tow this. Yes, there we go. All right, buddy. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it working, man. Okay, I wasn't able to get it working for you. So you're going to have to go. You're not even worth it. All right, guys, as you see, I handled that in a very professional manner and called, told that guy that he was not worth it. Oh, 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 God, ah, fuck, oh, shit. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Beat him up. Fuck, yeah. That's what I'm calling. That's what I call back the blue. Damn. Fuck, yeah. Beat him up. Beat him up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, get your own shit, B! Fuck yeah! Beat his ass up! Good on you, ma'am. Good on you. Oh, ma'am. Put the gun away, please. Ah! ah fuck you! Alright. Well... <laughs> Can we like flash back to when I said, you know, my guy's gonna enjoy a uh, very boring call? <laughs> well then. 
Well, um, dispatch, go ahead and <laughs> roll us medics out here. <laughs> oh, she keeps getting her hand ran over. Oh, she keeps getting her head ran over. <laughs> this poor bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm, well, medics are here, guys. Oh, medics are back here now. All right. <laughs> well, guys, we'll see if <laughs> we'll see if they survive or not. <laughs> we'll see if they. Oh, not the medic too. Not the medic. All right, he's he's good. He's dedicated to his job. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Will she survive? Will she survive the head trauma? Let's see. <laughs> I don't even know what to even provide myself at this point, man. Now that I look, this uniform looks a lot better without the hat. Yeah, <laughs> she did. So much for lowering the murder rate. Murder rate, yeah. <laughs> this is no, people. no. All right, let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's like, for real, bro. Even in his death, he just know he just knows. He oh, he's so oh, shit. He's resurrected. All right, sir. Um, well, I believe you uh, face your penalty. So again, you may go. Nuts. <laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> um, that is that is oh, what the fuck, man? Why is there a sleeping bag in place of a stretch? You know, I I no, just no at this point. Alrighty, we're done here. Leave our body in the middle of the road. I get, see what I give a shit, guys. The episode's over and done with. After that, I don't think there's a call that could top it that I would want to end with. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this nice special episode of LSPDFR. Hope you guys um, are enjoying the series. As per always, sorry that the uploads have been a little um, slow lately. Hopefully, we get back on track once a week. If not, well, I'll get these out as soon as I can for you guys. So, everyone, have a good night, evening, morning, night, afternoon, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video or on my live streams following next Paradox over on Twitch or if on my TikTok even. That's where you see some of these clips from. All right, without... Oh, I forgot English again. Bye!